it's not yet too cold to sit outside and it's the time of day seeing sun collide. Okay, my name is Ewan Howard and I'm the chair of the West of Hills Health Agency. For each of these the social history walks, um, they've been taking place over, on and off over five years. And uh, what we have this year, again funded by the Arts and Humanities Research Council, is a fortnight of festivities called Community Connections. So this very day, uh, we have uh, the Poetry in Motion big walk with Colin Barty reading uh, several of his poems along the route uh, from days when he was a community activist in Leicester Hale. We have another kind of festival city that tourists don't see and there's the pretty off to Edinburgh is fine with its chips and steeple but the heart of the city is in its pizza. Hello my name is Colin Barty and I'm a poet. Much of my original poetic inspiration came and started when I lived in Leicester Hale some 30 years ago. At that time when I was in Leicester Hills, I was known as the Leicester Hills Poet or the Leicester Hills Bard. And I'm really looking forward to returning after some 30 years to read these poems and to do the poetry in motion and actually go and walk and be in the sites that inspired that uh, poetical work. It might be a bit like uh, Robert Burns, although I'm not comparing myself to Robert Burns, going back to Ayrshire and reading iPhone's Kiss and Afton Water and the places where they actually were inspired. Over the stones, there the shepherds sat alone. Moneyburn has disappeared, bramble reeds have all been cleared. Western by the railway line... For today's Poetry in Motion walk, uh, we've selected a circular route around the town centre. Uh, that includes quite a few uh, very interesting parts of, of Wester Hale's past and present. So we start off at the Healthy Living Centre and we walk along what used to be known as Wester Hills Drive and has been renamed Harvester's Way. So we walk along there, uh, there's a lot of new housing being, being built there. Uh, it used to be the Park and Drive high-rise blocks. And then we walk down the Greenway pedestrian route down as far as where the Halesland complex used to be. And that was well known all the way back to 1983 when it uh, that uh, was used as a, as a feature with a documentary on Channel 4 called The Huts and uh, unfortunately they were demolished last year so it's just derelict land but the, the history of that patch of land is, is very important. From there we walk across the, the Murrayburn Bridge which is fairly iconic in terms of an image that's been taken of it and, and used in a, in a variety of ways, uh, one being a social history blog that's run by Prospect Community Housing and uh, called From There to Here. So we crossed that, then we walked along the route of the canal and the canal itself was uh, filled in in Wester Hills when Wester Hills was built in the late 60s, early 70s. So the section of, of canal uh, through Wester Hills, most people weren't aware of it at all um, until it was reopened and at the end of the, the last millennium is, is one of the Millennium Commission projects. We also originally had an idea of putting up nine totem poles around the area, again with QR codes that you would scan with your, your mobile phone providing further information. It didn't take long to realise that nine uh, was probably a bit too ambitious, so we, we concentrated on one. And so down by the canal, next to the shopping centre, we have the world's first digital totem pole. And uh, that's been attracting a lot of attention. What we'll probably do is um, put up another, one more totem pole next to the new Healthy Living Centre. And uh, a little in-joke that we have here, so that means that Wester Hills will be one of the few housing estates in the world with a North Pole and a South Pole. Totem Pole, we walk across to the West Side Plaza that was redeveloped in 1996 and there's a standing stone there that was moved from its original position in front of the, the shopping centre which was built in 1974. So we'll be another poem, have to hear another poem at the standing stone. After we put the set off to bed on a Friday we used to meet up at Whispers and basically do a pub crawl and then end up back in the bar. So this is about that event, it's called Odyssey Around Our Bars. 
This is an odyssey around our bars. By closing time, you'll be seeing the stars. We'll meet at seven in the Whispers Lounge. If you have any light, you can always scrounge. If you broke these days, it's really no crime. Three pints, two nuts, and a vodka lime. The Hales Hotel, you can live as a lodger. Further down the road, there's the Artful Dodger. A pub where you can stay and drink all day. Ladbrook's a bookies, just across the way. You bet your life you'll have a good time. Three pints, two nips and a vodka and lime. Yeah, special moment in the walk, I'll be reading a poem called One of the Boys, which is for, for Coogie, for Stuart Miller, young guy who used to work with me in the garden. Sitting in the hills as hard as nails, drinking heavy, that's his baby. Okay, the political lady. And when we finished the garden, we used to go out for a pint before we went home and sometimes shifted into two or three pints. We went home a little bit worse for the wear. That doesn't hold you back at all from taking over this world. Yeah, having gone through this experience and being in a slightly in trepidation at first of going back and trying to recreate these, I feel it's been inspirational and uh, hope giving that you could, other things like this can happen. And I just got to thank uh, West of Hills Arts and the Healthy Living Centre for allowing me to do this. And I'm sure and I hope as a result of this, there'll be many more such events, not just in West of Hills, but in Craig Miller and Dundee and Aberdeen and all over the place as a result of this.